Hi everyone, you may remember from my first video on the shorted owls that I felt I'd left a couple of shots behind. I hadn't got all the flight shots I wanted and I was determined to go back. So a couple of days later, I checked the forecast and it looked like it was going to be a perfect day. Very cold, very little wind, uh, clear sky, so a classic winter's frosty morning. So I jumped in the car. Uh, as you can see it was about minus five when I left home. It warmed up to about minus two or minus one when I got there down to the coast. Uh, and the seagulls were already there having their breakfast to, to welcome me down to try and find the shorted owl. Well, it's another morning, another day, another dollar and all that. Um, it's a beautiful frosty morning. Um, I couldn't get the shots I wanted the other day of the uh, of the shorted owls. I've come out again and it's an amazing morning. A little bit of frost. There was thick fog ten minutes ago which was making it rather difficult but this sun is burning that, uh, that off quite quickly. Um, so what I'm doing is heading down this little path that goes down towards the old harbour and uh, there's this beautiful field behind me uh, which is one of the main areas that the uh, shortest do hunt over um, you can never be sure but I'm going to go and go further down try and get a different view and set up and with the sun behind I want, wanted to get a backlit shot uh, which I struggled to get the other day that I was trying to get the other morning but um, this morning I think I'm just going to try and get some beautiful flight shots if he even appears or one of the owls appear. Uh, so another 50, 60 yards down here I'll set up and uh, then I'll speak to you again. It had only been a few minutes that I'd been set up when um, we saw the first sighting of a shorted owl as he started quartering over the field somewhere away from me. Really too far away for photos, but um, it was great to see him there anyway and still there after a couple of days. Um, you'll have to excuse the really annoying dust spot on, uh, on the lens of my vlogging camera, which this was filmed on. Um, and of course, I didn't realise until I started processing the film. Right, I hope we got some of that on the little camera. I've mounted my Canon uh, G7X with a gibber report on top of my 500mm on here. Um, but that we saw was a shorted owl hunting round. Uh, I think I'm a bit too obvious with the sun behind me. I'm not in a great spot, so I'm going to move over there a little bit. He's now gone over the sea wall and disappeared that way, but hopefully uh, he'll be back. I'm not sure if he'll stay here. I think I might move down to the far corner now the fog's gone. Just had another another little fly past. I'm uh, on this lane now. You can see the sun's coming up here. Um, it's really, really bright, so I'm apologising about the filming. Um, shorted out appeared from over here. Actually, where I was on the corner, but he would I came in out of the woods there. Came across and actually got some quite nice shots just looking out over the uh, over the meadow. And here are three images I got in the fantastic conditions. You can see every detail picked up by this gorgeous morning light. Uh, and you can also see the incredible yellow eye that the shorted owl has, which is always a good um, identification indicator and is very different from the nighttime eye that you see on a barn owl or a tawny owl, for instance. Um and then unfortunately disappeared right over again towards the sea wall but hopefully, hopefully he'll come back. Um, what you can see I've also done is I've sort of parked myself against this hedge. So you can see like that. Um, and it's really good if you always get a chance. You should always try and 
put something behind you. Where I was over there wasn't great. I was too high lit by the sun and I had the sun behind me, so I was casting a shadow. So if you ever can, always try and um, give yourself a sort of like um, a background to uh, disappear into. Uh, and it uh, makes a big difference. And Fultz is one guy further down and he's of course ran, got out of his car, ran over to the fence and the bird moved about 30, 40 yards away. So I wish people would learn. There's no point chasing them. So. Um, Anyway, I'm now going to put the camera on top of the lens again, like before, and if he comes back, hopefully we'll get it on, uh, on the mo on the uh, little cannon, and so we can, you can see what I'm seeing. Fingers crossed. It took a good um, 20 or 30 seconds after he dived down before he reappeared, so I'm absolutely certain he did actually catch something, which is uh, obviously really great from the owl's point of view. And shorted owls and to eat them on the ground. And then he came towards me and I managed to get a few more photos. Just a few minutes later, he's reappeared and he's actually flying down the path um, that I'd walked down um, to put myself in position. Um, and uh, it's a fairly random flight, but it's, um, he's not particularly concerned about me. I quite like this image, although obviously the fence posts are almost in the way, um, it rather shows him in the environment where uh, he's photographed. So I, so I sort of quite like this one, but um, obviously it's not going to go on, uh, on my wall. He kept flying around for a few more minutes um, before disappearing over the wall again. It's been a fantastic morning. Uh, the light was beautiful and uh, I was very, very pleased I'd made the extra effort to come down again on another morning. So it was time to head off to get some breakfast locally um, with the flocks of lapwings um, keeping me company as I decided to uh, walk back towards the car. Here are just a couple of extra images I took. Um, this is one obviously hunting uh, or in a hover. Uh, of course, this is actually on a couple of days earlier. And this was one I did take on this day and the light was just gorgeous and probably one of my favorite images. And it's what, as a wildlife photographer, you just uh, long for light like this. So from Shorty and myself, um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, look forward to seeing you again and enjoy your photography. And remember, look after our our wildlife, it needs all the help we can get.